Last time on Chasing Down. So, the day has finally come and me and Lyndon are at 5050 Studios to record Blow Your Mind. So, premiere. I'm your dear because I would like to ask mm -hmm. if you would like to be my love interest in the video. I would love to be your love Come on, come on from here. I, I watched y'all's live after the the, the uh, trailer came out. Uh, I probably would kill, it's two people I probably would kill. Oh, he got a gun oh. for it. He got two swords. It's, it's a tie between King Kane and Antonio. Ew. Ooh. Like, why would you take it that serious? Like. You think I'm gonna just come over here and pow you in your head, bitch? No. It's typically when people play that and they say they want to kill someone, it's typically someone, you know, in the circle that, you know, they don't really see it for, they might have like an issue with or a low key problem. I knew that there was issues with everybody from y'all, like fat shaming him on Facebook. No, I've never fat shamed him. Like anymore. liking his pictures on Instagram. Oh, like, you know, people own what they wanna own, they don't own what they don't wanna own. So I'm not gonna sit here and force a bitch to own what I already know is the truth. You know, if you have an issue with me, you can be a grown man and just, you know, come and talk to me like I am here talking to you. So, I'm, I mean, I feel like we're right now, we're in a good space. I'm not saying that we're friends, but I'm saying that, you know, we can be in the same place, speak, laugh, talk, you know, associate type of thing. So today is the rehearsal for the inaugural DFW LGBTQ Awards, okay? Thank you to Shy Trotter and Rachel Trotter. They actually reached out to me to present the 2019 DFW LGBTQ Honoree Award to Kirk Myers. I feel like it's a lot of change going on right now in yes, Dallas. Yes, Because the girl community is me. Yes. And the girls hang a little bit tougher than the boys do. So it's good that everybody's kind of coming together. And, and, I, and I think it's good because for the simple fact that people start lacking on things that they do, that they have a passion for because they feel like they're not recognized. I'm just happy yeah. to sprinkle a little. Oh, yeah. You know, a little sunshine. We're so, we so, we so, we happy to have you. Come here, folks. So tonight is the rehearsal for the DFW LGBTQ Awards, and me, myself, is nominated for two awards, Best Hairstylist and the family name, Emiliano. And I'm also um, a presenter. I've been asked to be a presenter the whole night. So, you know, you'll see me in different outfits, coming out, presenting. Hopefully everything runs smoothly. Now, I know that Dior, and Trey Howard are a part of this situation. Last time I checked, Trey Howard was throwing shade, even though she came into my birthday party with a nasty ass attitude with some other people. Maybe I have to be the bigger person and have a conversation with her. Tyson got major connections. Richard G got major connections. You got my brother back here going, you know, he cut her, he do all that, man. You see what I'm saying? You don't have no drama. You want to kind of deal with people with no drama. You see what I'm saying? So walking into the, the vanity area and I seeing Reese, the energy was stank as fuck. It was cloudy. I could cut it with a piece of uh, knife. It was tension everywhere. I feel like I need to have a conversation with Reese just to clear the air, hopefully make sure that we can, you know, mend ties or destroy them. I don't know, but we're gonna have a conversation. You have gay parents, you have gay cousins, uncles, sisters, brothers, and all that stuff. But that so has nothing my thing to do is, with what I'm talking about, my friendship. I'm coming around to the point. Okay, well, so, so get away on. So my thing is, when it comes down to things that you do, 
if I come in and I step in and try to help you elevate or whatever you want or however you want to do it, that would be stepping about, on other people's toes. It's not even about helping me as elevate. As far as like it's me, just about my being personal. kind and just being a. a, a so I'm not kind? Not of lately, you haven't been, no. When it comes down to the posts that you make, I watch all those things. When it comes down to the things that you say about other people, the like shade that you throw. But everybody throws their shade. Everybody's throwing light shade, morning dew, daylight, Sunday morning shade. And I get ridiculed cool because my shade wasn't what's necessarily catered I'm, to you. Though. I'm if not, I didn't like I'm your not, show, I didn't like your show. My thing if is, that's the problem with it, then that'd be the problem. But I don't feel like you have to go from live and decimate and say, well, if you get on with the winning team, you'll have these awards. Girl, I've been here before you got here. And that's fine. Hey. But I'm here now. And things are changing. Like? Like, excuse me? Like, what's changing? What's changing? Yeah, you may. The, also, awareness, also, the awareness of several you things are changing. Made, you also People recognizing it. what I'm doing in this city is changing. Right. You wanted to be on this platform, right. it's been a change. I don't know if it's your wings are too tight or you're going through midlife crisis, but it, you're confusing and you're losing. You don't know where to go. Either way it goes, it was after the meeting. So, what's the solution? When I told you what so I what's said. The solution? the solution is, I mean, you. You have this opinion, you have these things, and you have all these things that you feel like you need to say. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to let you know mm -hmm. that you should just watch how you say things and what you say, especially when it's not directed towards you. Reese, but you directed it towards me when you made the live. From one thing that I said, I, about it was you, not one thing. It was Look, collateral like, damage. Your live. It was watch collateral it. damage. Well, okay. Well, you I don't want to be collateral. Damage. I don't want to be collateral. Well, then make sure that the people around you are. I don't have to. But they're wrong. So you talk to doing. them. You don't come directly to me. And that's me. why I read him like I did. You did not read him. I you talked did about read him. him. You said a lot of shit that no, you didn't even know. Bye, Girl, you're first Chuck Taylor's bye. And look at zoom in on that Chuck Taylor girl in that eyeliner because you look a what mess. I'm okay. Father, because he has the most lies. Want to talk to you about, Girl, who is she? What is she talking about? Excuse me. Can I have the phone to read somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> to be very honest, this girl, she young. Okay. But my thing is, I don't fuck with nobody until they fuck with me. There was a shady ass post that she posted on Facebook, and she knew it was shady. Okay, then here come her people in the comments commenting on Facebook and they knew that was shady. So as y'all know, I don't mind finishing off the shade. Fuck, would you try to snub me in different ways while I'm trying to get my name out? You know that's a fucking big platform, right? So if you want to sit here and talk about clout, if you want to sit here and talk about setup, set up your motherfucking life to sit here and be coupled up with bitches that's gonna help you get to the top. It was so fucking much for me just to even get my name on this show. I work hard. I work fucking hard. Get your shit together. Step your pussy up, okay? So that you will understand how the fuck you can get like this. Because I've been putting bitches on for years. You will want to be a bitch like me. So how do I act? When you make these subliminal posts, and we make these posts about people and stuff, people affect like what you. Else? You have to deal with that privately. It's like all what they're else? trying to get get you to understand. Like what else? The post that you made about, let's say, Trey Woman. Girl, the that's the, okay. You made actually, about I texted else. Trey Woman. And we're good. You, Don't worry about that's everybody great. else. I'm glad that you're good. So then stay but on that. I'm not worried about us. nothing. We're I'm just us. trying to get you to understand what I'm saying. See, this is the very shit that I'm actually talking about within the Dallas community. It's hard for anyone. I feel like that they see the young generation as people that are just want to party when it's actually people here who want to network and build their resume or their brand is just having a lack of opportunity. That's what I was wanting to do with Reese. That's what I wanted to do with all the people in the group because I feel like me being a younger guy and y'all having all the wisdom, I can learn a lot. But it's like they want to be messy queens instead of mentors. And I'm like confused. Gay families where I come from are totally different from what's out here. Girl, you don't know That's what about that. our family. So, you don't know anything. You don't know anything. You're talking you at your you're ass. You're talking at the ass and those tight ass pants. Are you the are, are, are you the creme de la creme? I can't, I can't talk to her. I can't talk to her. Girl, I'm not a her. That's so, what you got the him. pronouns. Whatever you want to be so or whatever synthetic way you want to wear, that's what you do. But don't I'm not a her. I'm a man. The things that you do, you have to be mindful of the things that you do because people watch everything that you do. I'm doing fine. And 
let me elevate my statement then because you apparently not understand what I'm saying. Go ahead. The elevate. negative things that you do. Like what? Whether they're far and few in between or not. Like what? The things that you say about people, how you interact you see, with certain you people. You are the main you met. president of the live community. You go live if somebody Pass say your the ass lie. thing. Pass the lie. You make statuses about Pass people who don't even have who Pass don't care lie. about you. You was basically on the live saying like they came in with their ass tattoos. Keep in mind, we was there a whole hour before everybody got there. I wasn't just like doing it towards you. Well, they are a part of me. Like, okay. all, so everybody, all of my so kids. Since they are a part of you. All of my kids. Since they are a part um, of you. My kids, my boyfriend, all of y'all should represent friend. each other, right? Girl, you got on your live and you was sitting up here talking about some how you had to kiss my ass. I ain't never asked you to kiss my ass. You voluntarily want to kiss my ass to be around this group. That's the tea. Where I come from, when it come down to gay families, you got the mother, you got the father. The children act like the mother and the father. The aunties and the uncles act like the mother and the father and they all in co cohesive and all in line with each other. These girls don't act nothing like Dior. Y'all make this motherfucker look bad. I don't even try to brag about stuff. I can only speak about what You don't even have and stuff like that come out. Then any of them drive up in the Bentley and this and that third. No, we didn't, but we did drive up in BMWs and um, in chart challenges and Camaros. And You're fine. not pulling up in a Bentley or and nothing like fine. that. You know, so I just it. felt like I just feel like you that wasn't. I feel like that wasn't right like for you to be what trying to say, oh, they pull up in this and they pull up in that, blah blah blah. blah. But like, like your car are, is better than our car, some shit I, like that's, that. That's not, to me, materialistic things is not you important. Listen to the live. I listen to the live. I listen to it. I watch the whole live. That's not the point of what I was saying, and that's not what you was doing. My thing is, me and you. We're done. Deal. Like I was saying, there may have been said things that I said during that live. They may have offended you, as the person, as as the matriarch of your family. I can apologize for that. When it comes down to Trey, he made the post. A lot of people feel like the post was shady, as did I. He said it wasn't. I I feel like it was. We gonna leave it there because I can't have a conversation with him because he's not receptive to what I'm saying. And you're not. All, the only thing that I'm trying to get your to, point across without even listening to what anybody has to say or even saying, let me put yourself in my. In your I understand shoes. exactly you what you're saying. Because you have not, not exactly you've been what you're saying. the whole time. What, what do you have to say? I'm saying the mm -hmm. fact of the matter is. You're at an age, 29, whatever you want to be, uh -huh. and you're saying call yourself a mentor. Uh -huh. As a mentor and as a mentor. You did you have before. I mentor people. Okay, but okay, I'm not okay. A mentor. Well let's not okay. tomato tomato. Go ahead. But as the person that you are with the statue yeah. and uh what do you say, platform that you have, I feel like you should be more kind and you feel like I feel like you stir up the most drama and I feel like you are not a person who is truthful. You are a fake fraud it's like just a man sometimes and it sometimes it shows, it literally show my thing is if i haven't exemplified something to you personally because you don't know who i help you don't know what i do only thing you see is on social media and what you hear that's false from other people because if people continue to do certain things and act like children sometimes they need to slap on the wrist for the things that they do which is why i went live all i said that i was going to do is work hard use my platforms to expose us these black gay folk, LGBT folk that we are and help us progress. I'm getting a little emotional and I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave in this moment because what I'm not gonna do is cry in front of these girls. If you need anything business wise, I'll be more than happy to help you out as much as I can, but you know, y'all make home safe, you know, and, and, and y'all just have a good Sunday. Giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. That's not how you answer your door. First of all, I said, who is out of town? That's how you get shot in your own home. So, Markel decides to invite everybody over to his house to have, I guess, a bit of a ponderosa. After the live that happened, after the energy in the room at my party, I'm just really not here for the bullshit tonight. So I brought up, I had a conversation with Trey Howard. Uh -huh. about, him, about him going on live. Crying. Uh -huh. I told him, I said I told him that he was whining uh -huh. about going on live because I know I gave him, gave him no opportunity. Well maybe just I said, well Reese probably just feels some kind of way because you know him and Trey not talking no more. Girl, what? So I right. So I said uh -uh. back up, bitch. Said who? You and Trey not talking no more. You yeah. know that woman temperamental. Well, you know, he did perform marriage advice to you. Girl, you wrong. 
No, but you know, the only thing that I have ever said, I don't think I've ever said, Trey Bowman, he's an attractive guy. I mean, I heard through the grapevine that last year before he came around the group and said that he would have sex with me, I would have sex with him too. But I mean, girl, it's not, you know what I mean? We, we've gone out to eat, just like, just friends, has you know? Been, has he been to your house? Has he been to my house? He he has been to my house is. before. He's been <laughs> to my house before, but I mean, we just kicked it. But so you wouldn't say that y'all dated? No, I wouldn't say that we dated. I mean, I would say that. So why would I come? To, so how would I come to that conclusion? Cause you messy as fuck and you don't never get all your shit together. <laughs> you know, with hanging around Trey Womack, I think that he is a very attractive guy. And I just feel like, I mean, I may be a little bit too much. <laughs> Who knows? But I mean, if it comes down to the point where it's the thing, there may be. But I, I just think that, you know, he's a cool dude. So with all these rumors and all this shit going around, maybe I need to pull up on him and say, hey, yo, what's good? Who knows? I mean, my thing is, I mean, y'all can ask him in person. Okay. Have you had a conversation with him? Because when I, when the whole thing came out, when Trey Howard said, and it really pissed me off, Trey Howard said that the only reason that Womack is on the show is because he's fucking me. And I was thinking to myself, well, in all actuality, Womack would really be benefiting a hell of a lot. Good pussy, oh. good head, oh. great platform, oh, good group of people. You, you gotta, know what I'm saying? You got a yelp? A yelp review? Girl, you can see it. How's it going? Yes, hey, Miss Ricky G. Hi, honey. How are you? Good to see you. So, Markel invited us to his house today, to uh, tonight rather, to. I what was this? <laughs> it a little ponderosa, I assume. I don't. Ponder something. Yeah. Oh, he just wanted some drama, some mess, because that's what he's lived for these days, it seemed like. Mm -hmm. Ugly face. So what was the what's the meaning for the Ponderosa? Like, who's, yeah. who's upset, who's angry, who's agitated? Oh, <laughs> we were always still waiting on some people to come? Well, Ariel's supposed to be coming. Okay. Okay. Georgia, Georgia's coming. Oh, okay. Miss come calling her, telling her that she's mad at me, and she deserves an apology for... <laughs> Oh, how many apologies she need, girl? I gave I gave uh, somebody around last year about 60. She needs an apology because I didn't come to her uh, birthday gathering. Mm. But you know, I didn't want to be like another person that was at the birthday gathering for food and didn't really know her. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, well, excuse me, she invited a whole bunch of people that didn't know her. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to be added to that. Well, that story sounds really nice, but that's clearly not true. Did you go? Well, 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 true. Of course I went, she went. So therefore, you need She's the only person that wanted to go. Mm. So none of us wanted to go or were invited or... I was invited, but I was never going, period. You was invited? Well, George is my friend. You're you're invited. Invited. I'm talking about her. Lying. Did Premier go with you? I'm just not fine. He said he wasn't going. It was his birthday weekend, wasn't it? Right. It was a lot of people's birthday weekend. It was a lot of people's birthday weekend. I did have a one-on-one -on -one with Dior. And he's like, like oh, yeah, that. all of these people are like saying that... Was she telling the truth when you had a one-on-one? -on -one? She didn't, she didn't really want to own her part in, you know, you guys' whole situation. But, you know, I can't make somebody own what the fuck that they've been doing. So we just called it what it was and moved forward. But I needed her to know because she's like, oh, why would you invite my child knowing that, you know, Womack is going to be there. Y'all situation was y'all situation. So don't don't ever try to put it on me like I'm the one to blame. You know the laundry thing? Yes. You invited Howard. And you are going to be there? Yes. He was like, why would you invite my child? You know, my child, my child. And I'm just like, girl, your child got a mouth and a mouth of her own. Again. You want me to get a fight? You, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. But yeah, child, so you know, it's going to be Oh, who is that? Thank you. Where are you coming girl. from? Um, girl. Bitch, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So Markel had invited me over to his house. I came over to the house or whatever with my all black ninja suit on. So I had showed up with shades on because I had pink eye and I didn't want to miss out on the event because you know the last time I was at one of the events the girls was down there pushing each other down the stairs. I didn't want to miss out on that. So me and Ariel walk into the room and everybody is there and I'm just surprised to see, you know, Trey Womack, Reese, Carrie, Markel, King Kane. It was just like, okay, 
it's the first time we all been together in one small room. So I wonder how this is about to go. We have it in New Orleans. Oh, we told it down. Okay. We told it down. What the? If you didn't sleep, but we told it down. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so that first night, me and Rokel, we went out of the city. Like, it was. Everything. He was well, drunk. He was hollering that straight trade boy. So I come here and oh shit. Oh, 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 <laughs> so he, oh, I, I know it was. Our hotels are right across from each other. So his friends then went somewhere else. He took his nap. He woke up to all the dudes. He just said, oh, come hold me. <laughs> George used alcohol to flirt with everybody. We're both drunk. We were tipsy. Oh. Because he pulled it out. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. You are, you are on the Sorry. Wait. Fast forward. But yeah, got you drunk, now he being aggressive, then he pulled it out, keep going. He got you drunk. Let me get there. Because he said, put it in your mouth. Whoa! He said he pulled his dick out? So everybody trying to spread the rumor of trying to put Trey body on me or put my body on Trey when you got George over here pulling dicks out of New Orleans? Girl, see, here's the shit I be talking about. Y'all need to, y'all need to check. At the situation, I just felt like there was some people that had came in that had like really bad energy. But the live came from Trey Howard had made a post saying that Shantae, you stayed to Dior and Ariel. When you read the post, did you think the post was shady? Yeah, it was a bit shady. Okay. But I feel like when Reese commented, I feel like you shouldn't have came back with more shade. By you being the person that you are, you should have came back with some light and was like, yeah, they did good, but everybody else did good also. Honestly, a simple emoji shouldn't have been that much shade because if I would have came back, everybody did good, this and that, this and that, then I would have been the big fat wolf yet again. But the problem of the thing was when your best friend came and commented and then went all of that, they clearly saw me and everybody walked right on past and went straight to the pool time. Not everybody, my boyfriend spoke to me. I didn't hear it. He must have spoke it softly. He spoke to you. And then when he told us to, to call, go back out through the walk up, all of that, he spoke to you around that time. I don't remember that. I really don't even know. At this point, I'm sitting there, I'm talking and I'm talking. I don't even know why I'm talking because I'm pretty sure it's going in one ear and not the other to the rest of the group. The problem is, is that people don't want to own their shit. And people want to slick, throw these subliminal posts and be thumb thugs and make these posts on social media and think ain't nobody gone retaliate because of who they are and who their friends are and what group they're in. Let me tell you something. If you come for Reese, Reese is going to come back for you. They know exactly who I am because your best friend, boyfriend, we kiki we smoked a blunt yeah, at the fashion who you are. show. Um, James knows exactly who I am because she didn't like me at some point. Trey Howard knows exactly who I am because she did a whole live saying that I snubbed her for some reason. And then your boyfriend knows exactly who I am too. So, but you know, that's why the live was about, you know. The whole clip, but it was more people. I didn't see nobody else but just that quick. Stop doing the social media stupidity and, and then not expecting anybody to have a rebuttal or say anything back. That's just what that's just what it comes down to. Period. Same shit they did to me. Yeah. So they throw rocks and hide their hands. But even before that, but it was said that oh Reese is on this rant and this rave because her and her boyfriend broke up. Well maybe Reese acting like that since him and Trey broke up. Wait, who, who broke, broke up? up? Who broke up? He said that? <laughs> he said that. He told them that. And that's why I was. About his good Judy, Reese? Wow. Well, how do we fix mm. it? How do we fix it? None of this has nothing to do with me. It doesn't it anymore. Does. And, and to be honest, they bring you into it. Yeah. Both of them do. 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 Both we gotta say something to Dior. But it, they problems is not my problems. Their relationship is not my relationship. They issues with people outside of me has nothing to do with Dior. So while me and Reese was sitting there talking about, you know, the live videos and everything, I was basically trying to express to Reese that, you know, the way he presents himself and, you know, how he put himself out there as a person that he could have 
handle the situation a little bit more mature. I was just trying to explain to him, like, look, these are my peoples. I care about them, but you know what they do does not reflect on me. I don't tell them, you know, hey, do this, go do that. It's not me. It ain't got nothing to do with Dior because Dior is always defending his people. But if his people would act right, then it wouldn't be no defending that needs to happen. Because of my child made a comment because he was happy to see his daddy perform for the very first time and his auntie perform for the very first time. So he decided to make a comment about those two people. You feel like it was shade towards you? You just say it was shade too. Y'all, people just need to learn how to just not be shady. Unwarranted shade is unnecessary. If we having a beautiful, sunshiny day, then all of a sudden you just want to throw some shade, then girl, you are going to get what creeps up through those shady palm tree leaves. But all in all, the party was actually fun. Coming up on Chase in Dallas. So it's Trey allegedly it. said Nobody just now telling him me it's wrong. Well, hold up. First of all, well, anyway, well, you got man problems now because I heard that you pull your little dick out and try, try to have Trey suck it. Oh! 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 Wait, Let me set the scene. Are you acting right now? Uh-uh. Uh. George had gotten a little aggressive, so it was almost like insinuating of maybe My name is Imani Van Zapp, and I'm here to help you fix your shit. Well, for the most part, last week was explosive with an amazing turnabout happy birthday party for executive producer Reese G, aka Reese O'Neill. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Now you know how auntie is. I love seeing you go about chasing your dreams. That is the name of the show after all. We saw Carrie D hard at work in the studio on a very interesting song. Grab you by your ex, give daddy a taste. Don't be full of pain, just sit it on my face. Uh, I can go uh, uh, stop! Quit it! I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like. Right after that, we were graced with someone's presence who we had not seen in a while. Dior. So good to see you, baby. Dior and Kane sat down to have a little chat. About what, you ask? No, 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 no. Listen, I, 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 no. I'm not going back to talking about these lame ass fights. I said it last week and I'm gonna reinforce it this week. See, here's the other problem with all of you children, all right? A squabble that should have been handled in two weeks is getting dragged out over 10. But you know why that is? The reason why we can't move on to anything else is because everyone is caught up in their feelings. And you need to check the comments below. A lot of people are over it. We keep having to revisit the fight because someone didn't want to show up over here. Someone doesn't want to invite someone over here. I'm tired of it. Listen, I understand that a lot of you are not feeling each other. I get it. Every week, all of your petty ass faces are being seen by tens of thousands of people. Daughters, are you even aware of how many people want this opportunity? Do you understand the opportunity that you've been given? Everyone wants to talk about how much of a badass they are, but the only thing you have to prove for it is chicken scratching at each other for about 20 seconds. There are no real conflicts, which is making most of you look like cons. That you do not have what you say that you have, and that you are not who you say that you are. Babies, for the millionth time, the show is called Chasing Dallas but all I see are people that are chasing their egos. You all need to grow up before your 15 minutes of fame is over. Now go fix your shit. Money on my mind. Markel invited me out for some pizza. Now, I'm trying to lose weight. Markel want me to gain weight. What he did not tell me is that Ariel was gonna be there. But I've never had an opportunity to have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. So I don't know what she thinks about me. I'm sure she don't know what I think about her. However, we finna see what this go turn out to be. I do wanna like sit down with you because I need them. I want you to make me some stuff. Okay. So, and I'm, I'm, and I'm serious. No. Okay. All right, let me get my money and my deposits together because they say you're expensive. She's an entrepreneur. What do you say? How do you say it? He's like, entrepreneur. 
Uh, you were drunk? Maybe. Okay. okay. Listen, listen, when I get drunk, I'm the same, so we were good. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very typical. So Trey allegedly said. Nobody just now telling me it's wrong. Well, hold up. First of all, well, go ahead. anyway, well, you got man problems now because I don't heard that you pull your little dick out and try, try to have Trey suck it. Oh, oh, oh. And, and you're trying to act like he was sweet. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 George didn't come to my Ponderosa, so George really don't know what's going on. So, it was for us to kind of like bring it up to him, let him know, know what was being said. And the allegations, quote unquote, allegations was that. Trey had said that um, George had gotten a little aggressive, so it was almost like insinuating of maybe, Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that to y'all. I'm not gonna say that it was like date rape because I don't really know what it went out because I wasn't there, but it kind of sound like it. But y'all think George would do something like that? Hell yeah! Y'all don't know George. Y'all seen George kissing? I'm I'm talking something. I'm sure something's wrong with you just said. This is not little. Let's start there. Second of all, I'm 31 years old. So let's be very clear. If you're 31, you should remember. So I never said that I did not remember. Did, did it happen? Well, did First of all, <laughs> never once did I try to get Trey drunk. I don't need to try. Trey is a drunk anyway. So I don't need to try to get him drunk. So what happened was, so I want to be very clear, clear my good name. Trey went to eat seafood earlier that day at the seafood spot. I asked him to pick me up seafood because we weren't going over there. He picked the seafood up. We got like sloppy drunk that afternoon after the uh, pelican thing, oh, uh, the alligator thing. And I was in the car with Trey. Trey took me to his room to get my food. Okay, and maybe I, I did a little, maybe it was a little, okay. maybe it was a little hoe in me. Okay, I'm 31 years old, so I ain't finna sit here and act like, oh my God, I don't know what happened. It's okay. I, I did what I did. You know, I have a, I have a, but he so did y'all, did y'all. No. He made, he made so, me feel like you was really aggressive. No, 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 no,
We're sitting there, we're, we're, you know, we're doing the chat and chew, you know, what I like to do. They had some wine, I would have had me a glass of wine. And then Ariel says, there's Reese. <laughs> Nothing. No invite? Where you from? The house? It was mine, you know. Today is my off day. Wanna give me a nice slice of pizza. And lo and behold, I hear somebody calling my name from back yonder. And it's Ariel, Carrie D, and Georgina. Y'all caught me no makeup or nothing. Oh, hey, Reese. Hey, George. How are you? Hello, how are you? This is my first time seeing Reese since his, you know, birthday uh, drag show. Um, he didn't talk to me then. I didn't talk to him then. He didn't talk to me uh, then. I didn't talk to him then. I won't talk to him now. Okay? But we're just going to see now. By this time, you know, we're all having a good time. We're vibing. Everybody good. So, you know, I may pop off and say something I don't know what I'm supposed to say. But we go see. We go see. We we about to see. So, Reese, um, what did you think about your, or was it a three-day weekend? Birthday at your brother again? Oh, it was just one night. Oh, it was one night. Yeah, it was cool. I just felt some type of way. I felt like I wasn't invited. You wasn't. I felt like you didn't speak that night. I did it. And I think I'm doing the wrong. I just wanted to follow that. Well, George, I'm not gonna give you an apology. Well, you won't give me one. I'm not gonna give you an apology. I don't really care for you. Okay. You know? And that's simply because you have this, this elitist attitude about you where you think you're better than people or whatever. George? And I don't. You're not shy. 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 Never said that about him. I, I don't see that. I don't see that. Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? 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 What he don't say about him? That's not what I came for. I came to get some pieces. No, I'm because I like that. If I walk from businesses, I do have both streams of income right now. So, you know, I have both of these. You see that? You see that? I have not. I don't think I've seen the bank to work at a crow. Y'all have a good night. All right. I love y'all. We love you too. Risa did the most intelligent thing I've ever seen her do. Get up and leave. Well, thank you for coming. So, Is there anything else I can do for you? Just go ahead and just, you know, thank you for having me. Anyway, bye bye. I'll talk to you later. Bye. We'll bye. see you later. Before it gets out of hand, because I had a good party, I left all that shit and all this with reservations and this reservedness of how I'm gonna be to these girls on the floor. So before I get up and smack her ass, I'm gonna go ahead and exit because I don't want to have to lose my cool in public with all these good, good, good folks at this pizza place. Maybe I'll see her and talk to her another time, but other than that, tonight is not it. It's my off day. I ain't got no makeup on. I'm just not having it. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. And yeah. have a good night, children. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. Welcome to Screenshot Skillet, and today we are we're featuring a creamy chicken pasta with mushrooms. I got them upset. No, you up there. I've been cooking up. They want to know what's next. Girl, toast the chicken. Dare like to get nasty, so we don't let him do it. Put my hands up to the sky. I'm so blessed. One thing for sure, you can never skip the end. This is good. Mmm. 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 Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Chocolate Beauty. I am a new vlogger in these YouTube streets. If you want to keep up on the latest trending breaking news on your favorite celebrities, who's together, who broke up, who's back together, who's creeping, who's a creep, because you know we got a few of those, right? We also do reviews on reality TV and what's going on behind the scenes, like Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, Girl I got two kids and you said, husband. Right? What do you have? and love and hip hop. It was all a lie. You name it, baby, I got the tea. You can find my YouTube channel under Chocolate Beauty 81. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. All my social media handles is listed below. All right, you guys, it's your girl, Chocolate Beauty, 
hopefully I'll see you on my channel. So tonight is the DFW LGBTQ Awards. I'm super stoked to be invited and to be a part of this amazing uh, ceremony. I wasn't a part of season one, however, I'm a part of season two. So I just want to go to represent uh, the family and the brand. I ended up putting something together at the last minute. It was dope. I met Markel there and we had an amazing time. So everybody in the atmosphere looks very nice. It's a really good vibe in the room. And I have to say, even though some of the media outlets that are here, I don't really see it for, I'm gonna have a very good evening, do a little interviewing and just enjoy the atmosphere. Hell, we're nominated tonight, so why not have a good time? Okay, I wanna thank everybody who voted for me. When I first got here in Dallas, Texas, I had zero clients, no one knew me. I was offering to do hair for free. Now, everybody's asking me, can I get that free hairstyle? Nope. To see Dior win um, an award was definitely a, a great occasion. Every time he does something or does something for the community is a great moment for me to witness. I feel like um, to broaden the spectrum, we should not only have the LGBT community, but have the straight people, have us all in one room being, um, you know, winning and, 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 and surviving together. Hi, Everything was just really organized. Um, they did an amazing job. Um, the atmosphere was was beautiful. It was just beautiful to see all the talented faces in Dallas, everyone underneath one building. Um, and so I was just excited. And um, yeah, I was just looking forward uh, to see what the night had to offer. Well, Ariel could not be here tonight. She is getting ready to go to LA for a new client. And the nominees are Chasing Dallas. Yeah! The Gamerhood. Dallas Views. And the Proud Wives of Dallas. Yeah. And the winner is, drum roll please. Chasing Dallas! Chasing Dallas! Dallas. Chasing Dallas. The city of Dallas really has supported Chasing Dallas like from day one. And I really have to say thank you to my season one cast, Markel Logan, Premier, um, Gary Aubrey, B. King, Tony Price, King Kane, and myself, Charles Jackson, and my season two cast that are here, Dior, Street Howard, and some that are not here. You know, I really appreciate everybody, George Sloan, sorry. And um, y'all keep watching, we do air January 9th. On the season finale of Chasing Dallas. The only reason that you're here, bitch. The only reason that you're here. The only reason you can walk around this city and not get your ass beat because you keep burning bridges with people is because of me, ho. No, 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 no. Did I not say that? What? And then you kept kissing on my neck. Oh! Now, now, now. Now I heard the so okay, okay, okay. Okay. No, I want to get this new. You asked him for his number so because he was single. You knew he was already with you. Who the fuck I asked? Before you I was the only bitch that held you down when you moved here, bitch. I was the only bitch who held you down, ho. I was the only bitch, the only motherfucker who looked out for you, bitch. And you turned on me like a motherfucking snake. And you ran to people you did not motherfucking know. And you talked about me like a motherfucking, 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 like a motherfucking,